I think you have the wrong number. He said, you don't need the eight ball. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. Have you ever done something so dumb that you basically look back on and said you shouldn't have done it? Well, this is the number one example right here. Welcome to Steph Reacts. We are going to react to the dumbest Florida dealer ever. This story is so ridiculous that I couldn't believe that it actually happened in real life. The story says that an 18-year-old Florida boy basically was arrested after asking a county commissioner. If he wanted to buy something illegal in a random text message. How dumb could someone be to do that? That's like saying you were texting somebody, you don't know who it is, that you are going to do something illegal. So meet me downtown at the end of the corner. Wouldn't that be suspicious? Wouldn't the person be alert and call the police, if anything? Did a county commissioner to try and sell drugs. A yeah, bad idea. The sheriff's office says it led them to arresting the 18-year-old who was selling something deadlier than he realized. News 6's Molly Reed has the details. With elections around the corner, Flagler County Commission Chair Joe Mullen says he's been calling residents from his cell phone about voting. But Sunday night, he got a surprising call back from one of the numbers. The guy said, hey, um, do you still need what you needed the other day? And I went, what are you talking about? And it, it really threw me off. I said, uh, I, I think you have the wrong number. He said, you don't need the eight ball. How dumb could someone be to do that? That's like saying you were texting somebody, you don't know who it is, that you are going to do something illegal. So meet me downtown at the end of the corner. Wouldn't that be suspicious? Wouldn't the person be alert and call the police if anything? That is so dumb. Mullen says being in recovery from cocaine and alcohol for a decade himself, he knew what was happening and wanted to help get the drugs off the streets. He says he called the sheriff's office who asked him to help detectives set up a fake drug deal. For four hours, we went back and forth on text and he finally agreed that he would walk down to the lake at Birds of Paradise and he would bring the drugs. Investigators say 18-year-old Jack Fisher showed up Sunday night expecting to sell cocaine to a person but was instead met by detectives and attempted to throw the drugs in the lake when he saw them. Sheriff Rick Staley says he also didn't have cocaine. He had 3.17 grams of fentanyl. That sounds like not much, but it's enough to kill over 1,500 people. Staley says it's another example of the rise in drugs in the area getting a hold of the younger population and how a lot of the drugs aren't what dealers or buyers believe or say they are. Our seizures on fentanyl is up uh, over 275% so far this year compared to all of last year. And Fisher's now being held in the Flagler County Jail on a $3,000 bond. He's facing a felony drug possession and an illegal use of a communication device charges. He better not go jail because I don't think with a face like that, he's going to last. They're going to clap him. He's going to get clapped, bro. Damn, bro. He's not going to make it. I am sorry, he's not gonna make it, but don't be like him, please, please, please don't be like him. Do not sell drugs, ladies and gentlemen. That is not the way to go. And don't be dumb, please don't be dumb. Because this will go down as one of the dumbest transactions ever. Mm. Let me know down below if you agree with this. Or let me know if you did anything dumb in your life that you look back on and say, hmm, that was really, really dumb of me. But now you have the common sense to know that you wouldn't do that again. Let me know down below. I will not stop. I want the guap. I'm going to keep rising until I get high. I like the sun. I fall from dawn. Because I've been told you niggas I'm the one.